Hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining me on this channel, Adults ESL Online Learning. I'm Dr. Hernandez Smith. In this video, we are going to be looking at Lesson F, Another View. This is Life Skills Reading. Number one, life skills reading, occupational projections and worker characteristics, occupation, job openings due to growth and replacements, 2014 through 2024, percent employment change, 2014 through 2024, Typical education needed for entry. It says automotive services, tech, automotive service technicians and mechanics. 237 job openings. Percent, 5.3% employment change. Post secondary technical non degree award is necessary for entry. Dental hygienists. 70 job, 70 job openings due to growth and replacements. 18.6% employment change. An associate's degree is needed for entry. Food service managers. 77 job openings due to growth and replacements, 5.1% employment change, a high school diploma or equivalent is needed for entry. Medical assistance, 262 job openings due to growth and replacements. 23.5% employment change, a post-secondary post -secondary technical non-degree is needed for entry, retail salespersons, 1,917 job openings due to growth and replacements, 6.8% employment change, no formal educational credential needed for entry. Veterinary technologists and technicians. 274 job openings due to growth and replacements. 18.7% employment change. An associate's degree is needed for entry. And numbers in thousands. Source BLS.gov. A. Read the questions, look at the chart, fill the answer. Number one, which statement is not true about the jobs in the chart? A. One requires an associate's degree. B. One requires a bachelor's degree. C. One requires technical training. D. There will be more jobs in 2024 than in 2014. I see a, an associate's degree and a one requires a bachelor's degree. I don't see a bachelor. So B is not true. Number two. Which occupations will have the largest percent inc increase in growth from 2014 to 2024? Percent increase, it looks like it's medical assistance. We have medical assistance at 23 and dental hygienists at eight, oh, veterinary technologists at 18.7. This is going to be B. 
Number three, what is the growth in number of jobs from 2014 to 2024 for dental hygienists? 70. And then numbers in thousands. 70. Maybe 70,000? 70, 70,000. What is included in this chart? A salary information for certain jobs? No. Information about decline of certain occupations? Information about the amount of education necessary for certain jobs? Yes. Amount of work experience? No. Answer is C. Let's look at B. Solve the problem. Give your opinion. Alex has been working. Mm, Alex has been working in a fast food restaurant for over a year. He works as a busier. He works as a busser, cash, cashier, and cook. He would like to be a restaurant manager someday, but that requires a high school diploma or equivalent. He dropped out of high school after two years. What should he do? Okay, Alex should, Alex should uh, get his high school equivalency, um, the, a GED, or he should go back to high school and get his diploma. Um, there are programs that will help you do that at community colleges. You can take these classes to get your high school diploma or your GED online or in person. So he could do that. Um, yeah, because he already has the work experience. Now he just needs to get his uh, academic credentials in order. What do you think he should do? Well, thank you so much for listening to this lesson and I hope it gave you some practice in life skills reading about work and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.